good morning and welcome back to another video. Actually, might be good afternoon. I'm obviously a bit delayed on my day. Um, you've joined me in the garden. I am just planting out my veggies. I've finished doing the netting on them all. They've now got nets and I'm just planting out my leeks because they have grown. Look at these roots. So that's what I'm doing. But I thought I'd let you join me on gardening in the garden plant them all out and planning on what I'm going to plant because I've got no idea. Um, we are trialing companion planting this year because I've heard it's really good. So I have already planted out my onions and my carrots. My broccoli is behind. There are also some herbs in the broccoli and I'm going to also add my cauliflower in there but I only planted them the other day. So that's what we're trying to see how it works. Everything is now covered. Got a few plants that I'm going to plant in the other patches over there, and we're going to add another veg patch behind me. So there's going to be loads of room. It's just being organised and planting things where they are. But that's where we're at. So I'm going to finish planting my leeks. I thought I'd start the vlog today. And all the gardening videos always get lots of views, which is really nice. And I enjoy doing the gardening. So I think I'm going to start making more gardening videos. I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing. It is all trial and error, but join me for the journey. So let's crack on. I'm now just trying to figure out if I should plant parsnips in the rest of these. Some of them do look really sad. This one does look like it's dead, but it does have a leaf that is alive. So I have gone ahead and planted it. Um, I'm now just trying to figure out whether to plant missnips. Do you need to plant spring onions? Mm. I don't know where to plant those. planting this is proof I have broken a nail as well which is which is not ideal but finished <laughs> for today anyway we've still got this whole bed to do which <laughs> just got so many things I do actually need to plant but it's about like covering that so I've put I think they call it a cosh over the top just to protect those ones from the birds but all of these are now planted we have potatoes growing in that one from last year. I am pretty sure I dug them all out, but it is what it is. These all look so neat, which I'm really happy with. And I planted some chives, but I have got cauliflower and cabbage to plant out as well. I kind of want them in and over like a covered one. So I think I'll do them when we do the other bed because it'll be another, I think I'll cover it again. Like I've done these because it just looks so much better. It means that things will last. Things won't get eaten by slugs. Oh, the joys um, and bugs and things. So. I think that's me done for today. I know I didn't feel much, but I was chatting with my nan. My nan's here staying. Hi, nan. She'll be watching this eventually when it goes up. That's kind of where I'm at today. I'm going to go scrub my hands with the inch of a life and then uh, do some pony things, I think. See you later. Good morning. 
it has been a few weeks since it last started. But I thought I'd just show you how the veggies have come on. So the bit that you have just seen, I was planting. Everything has come on low. I've done, these are our sweet corn. Can you see that? Am I going the right way? That way, sweet corn. Courgettes, sugar snaps. I think they're sugar snaps. I want to call them the other ones. Potatoes. This is what we planted last time we made a video. Not last time, last time I filmed. This stuff isn't growing yet, but it will. And then yesterday I planted my strawberries and broccoli and cabbage. So it's all looking great. But today we are starting new projects. We are making gates. We are finishing the fencing, which I'll show you in a minute. And we are making a new stable door for a new little someone that's joining us. Yeah, that's what Come in my new tripod has arrived because i smashed my tripod yesterday um, i had actually broken it previously and then i properly broke it yesterday so i have actually ordered a new one and it's better than the one that i had and it was cheap which is great and it's good quality so that's fine i'm just checking hmm let's see if i can find it i just don't know whether i need the bag that's with it i don't think i do but maybe i do maybe i'll maybe i'll keep it um we're going to call it a day today i just drilled his finger oh my god look at that dad has just drilled his finger yes he was screwing the screw through the edge of the gate into the smaller parts of the gate and he was holding it like this put the screw through and oh my god it went in his finger and he shouted at me like he couldn't move his finger so he had to he put the screw in and then he had to put the screwdriver into reverse and pull it back out oh my god my entire body went like jelly and it wasn't even my finger so it made me feel rather ill but he's fine he's put a plaster on it i did <laughs> i did greet him with a first aid kit but he was like no it's fine and i was like honestly yeah <laughs> So we are going to call it a day. We have finished one of the little gates and it looks so cute. We're really happy with it. So tomorrow will be, let's make gate number two and let's make a tiny door. Um, so that will be tomorrow's jobs. I'm gonna keep these in here. I don't think I need to keep the bag, do I? I never put my tripod in a bag. Who puts their tripod in a bag? It's just more stuff, isn't it, that we keep. Orange, I went for the orange. I'm not gonna keep that throw that away because like I say who puts the tripod in a bag go and make a katsu curry it is currently half past three so it's kind of a nice nice early finish it's very very warm today nice warm though but I actually don't have any sun cream on I have sun cream on my face because I always put sun cream on my face but I haven't got sun cream on my body so I don't know whether I'll have burnt maybe mm, I think my arm might have burnt but I have got some really bad tan on that I need to wash off clearly. Like every video I make a tan, is it a faux pas, Phil? Yeah, but it's fine. Right, I'm gonna go make a katsu curry. 
we are then going to finish our evening but i won't vlog i will catch you tomorrow morning when we are making gate number two and another little stable door for a very exciting new guest see you in the morning morning and welcome to the next morning. Veggies have been watered, the dogs have been walked, and we are now at day two making the second gate. So we're not going to be drilling any fingers today, but let's see how we get on. Mum is just creating the second one. We are now going to make a really small door for a really small. But yes, Dad has just measured how big this door is going to be. We'll crack on with a tiny stable door that's going to look like the big stable doors, but a mini version. Oh my God, I keep getting bitten. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bree, you got to step over the door. Yeah. So let's make said door. We can't finish it because we don't have ply for the other side. So these ones have got chipboard on the back. We don't have that. So we're going to get that tomorrow. But the door is done. I'm just going to sand off these bits here because we didn't have enough TNG. So I'm going to sand them. And we made it look cute. It now it looks like it's meant to be. So yes, we planned it. I'm just going to give them a little sand so that they're not as rough as they are because obviously it's rough so not soft Does that makes sense it's just rough it's not smooth so i'm gonna do that now nice so i'm gonna do that right now all sanded but the camera's now gonna die so i'm gonna put you on charge and then Catch you later. Good morning, good morning. It is now Monday. Let that light adjust. It's not as warm today. It's quite chilly actually. We've both got sweatshirts on because it's cold. Um, he wants the board out of the van. I'm just going to watch him. 
struggle. No, what do you do? I know. <laughs> okay, let me do that first. We have already been to Travis this morning, it being a Monday. Already had a visit to Travis. We have got more of these, which is what we bought the other day because we're going to do another gate for next to the stables to enclose the whole area, but again, using an old gate to make a new gate. So we've got these. We've also got a latch and the closure. Um, that's what we're doing today. But first we're gonna finish the little stable door. We went and got that bit of board that you've just seen. So that is what we're gonna to do today. So again, it's all about another gate. Let's go finish this little tiny door. from doing the gates um, and the stable door. We've done the stable door, it's not finished. But we have just made, oops, let's see. We have just made our chickens a second level with a little nesting box. So we were just watching to see if they took the bait and went up there, but we shall see. We'll leave them to it. I feel like chickens take ages to get used to something new, I feel like. I don't know if that's, I think maybe I've just made that up. But we're gonna leave them to it. And then we were just planning on what we're gonna do to revamp the chicken coop, because that's definitely a job that we're gonna do in the next couple of weekends. Revamp the chickens. Maybe that'll be a next week job, because I'm on half time. Uh, I'm gonna get this gate out. Which is another one of the gates that we made into two small gates. So we're gonna get this out, see how we're gonna make it into an enclosure on the other side. Our new gate is going to go. We have stopped getting distracted by chickens and food and we're now doing this. So this is attached to the tree. This tree is already dead, unfortunately. So we have, we're utilizing it for a new purpose with a new post on the side. That is just trimmed off the edge, which you saw very precariously with the chainsaw. Don't do that at home, kids. He should have been wearing protective gear. So this is attached to the tree. And then we are also going to attach this one here to here this board so dad's wanting to get raw plugs so we can drill into the side of the stable and then that'll be a gate but we've got to make a gate out of the old gate so that's what we're doing Well, 
that is all the things that we've been up to this weekend and don't know about you but i think it looks pretty good we've had a good diy resourceful weekend we're using the old gates to make new ones and it's looking great i'll enter like i'll pop in some final clips but at the moment the ponies are just being got in that's where we're at the door is nearly finished the little mini door that we are making because a very exciting guest is arriving at the weekend but you will see that next week the fencing is all done the gates are done we've now got rid of two big gates that we didn't know what to do with and made three gates which is brilliant so we are overall very happy the veggies are looking great everything is coming along and the weather has been beautiful today's been cold but it's been it's still been dry which is good we like that but i'm gonna leave this video here if you have liked this video please like and subscribe i like to see that people are enjoying them i'm sorry we've had two weeks off it was just a little bit of a blur i went and did my run we are now back to normal i'm on half term next week so it's busy 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 and all systems go if you want to see the new exciting guest like and subscribe hit the notifications button then you'll know that when we post every single week don't forget to check out the instagram as well i'll link it below and i'll pop it on to check out those and make sure you're following so thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week for a very exciting one bye